वेलकम टू क्लास थ्री चैप्टर फाइव डिविजन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द फॉलोइंग टॉपिक अंडर दिस चैप्टर वॉट डिविजन मीन्स एंड इट्स फैक्ट लॉन्ग डिविजन ऑफ टू थ्री एंड फोर डिजिट नंबर हाउ टू रीग्रुप वाइल डिवाइडिंग चेक द आंसर आफ्टर डिवाइडिंग एग्जाम्पल्स वर्ड प्रॉब्लम एंड इन द एंड आई विल गिव यू अ वर्कशीट फॉर योर प्रैक्टिस Let's understand what does division means. Division means equal sharing or making equal groups and its symbol is as displayed. But what is equal sharing or equal grouping? Let's understand concept of equal sharing first. Veena has 15 toffees. She wants to divide them equally among her five family members. She starts by giving one toffee to each of them. She gives one more toffee to each of them and finally she gives one more to each of them. Therefore, each member gets 3 toffees. So, 15 divided by 5 equals to 3. Students What is fifteen? Fifteen is total number of toffees. Five is total number of family members, and three is number of toffees each member gets. This is called equal sharing. Students, you have understood what is equal sharing. Now let's see what is equal grouping. Tina has twenty toffees. She wants to make bags of four toffees each. How many bags can she make? She starts by putting four toffees in one bag. She makes another bag of four toffees. One more bag of four toffees. Again, one more bag of four toffees. And finally, she adds last four toffees in fifth bag. So Tina can make five bags of four toffees each. So this means twenty divided by four equals to five, where twenty is the number of total toffees Tina has. Four is number of toffees she puts in each bag, and five is the number of bags she made. Students, this is called equal grouping. students next topic is terms used in division let's understand it with the help of an example example is to divide seven apples in three baskets in this we will do equal sharing first let's place one apple in each basket we will again put one more apple in each basket now only one apple is left and one apple cannot be shared equally thus this left over apple is called remainder so our answer is there will be two apples in each basket and one apple will be left over students through this example now let's understand the terms which we use in division here total number of apples which is 7 or the number to be divided is called dividend number of baskets which is 3 or number by which to divide is called divisor and in the end we have two apples in each basket this is the answer or we call it question one apple which is left and cannot be further divided is called remainder So students these are the terms which are used in division dividend divisor question and remainder let's understand the same example with the help of long division method this method will be used throughout in solving division questions so students please listen carefully example is to divide seven apples in three baskets form a tank As displayed, 
and place the divisor outside the tank and dividend inside the tank. Now step 1 is to divide 7 by 3. We will use the table of divisor 3. Write the nearest multiple of 3 to the dividend 7 which is 3 into 2 equals to 6. Thus we will write 2 on the top which is the place for question and 6 comes below 7. Next step is we will subtract 6 from 7 and we get 1 which is our remainder. So students as displayed 7 is dividend which is 7 apples in our example. 3 is the divisor by which we have to divide the dividend. 2 is the answer or the question and 1 is the remainder which cannot be divided further. So students this is the long division method. Now students, after solving division questions, let's understand how to check whether your answer is correct or not. Let's take the same example. This is the way we have already solved the question through long division method. Now we can check our answer by solving a very easy equation. Equation is dividend equals to question into divisor plus remainder. Students, first always do the multiplication part which is question into divisor and then add the remainder to it. If after solving this equation your answer is equal to dividend then your answer is correct. So let's check our answer for this question. Question is 2, divisor is 3 and remainder is 1. So 2 into 3 equals to 6 and 6 plus 1 equals to 7 which is equal to the dividend. Therefore, the question and the remainder are correct. Moving on, let's learn division facts. First fact is when a number is divided by itself, the question is 1. For example, 4 divided by 4 equals to 1. Second fact is when a number is divided by 1, the question is the number itself. For example, 7 divided by 1 equals to 7. Next fact is 0 divided by any number always gives the question as 0. For example, 0 divided by 8 equals to 0. And the last fact is division by 0 is meaningless. For example, 3 divided by 0 equals to meaningless because nothing can be divided by 0. Let's revise these facts through some exercise. Question 1 is 15 divided by 1 equals to 15. We learned this in fact number 2. When a number is divided by 1, the question is the number itself. Next question is 12 divided by 12 equals to 1. It is based on fact number 1. When a number is divided by itself, the question is 1. Question number 3 is 0 divided by 39 equals to 0. It is based on the fact number 3. 0 divided by any number always gives the question as 0. Next question is 99 divided by 1 equals to 99. We learn this in fact number 2. When a number is divided by 1, the question is the number itself. Next example is 50 divided by 50 equals to 1. It is with reference to our fact number 1. When a number is divided by itself, the question is 1. And the last example is 45 divided by 0 equals to Meaningless. We learn this in fact 4. Division by 0 is meaningless. Now students, let's see how to do long division of 3 digit number. Example is to divide 462 by 2 and check your answer. We will do this step wise. Step 1 is form a tank and place dividend inside the tank and divisor outside the tank. 
Step 2. Divide 4 by 2. We know table of 2 is 2 multiplied by 2 equals to 4. Now 4 minus 4 equals to 0. Step 3. Copy the next digit of dividend which is 6. Step 4. Divide 6 by 2. We know 2 into 3 equals to 6. Now 6 minus 6 gives us 0. Step 5 is copy the last digit which is 2. Step 6 is divide 2 by 2 and then subtract. We get the remainder as 0. Thus students we have solved this example by long division method. Now we will write the answer as question equals to 231 and remainder equals to 0. Students, if you want to check your answer, follow the equation which I told you earlier, which is dividend equals to divisor into question plus remainder. Therefore, dividend equals to 2 into 231 plus 0, which is equal to 462 plus 0. Therefore, dividend is 462. This shows our answer is correct. So students, this is how we do long division of 3 digit number and check our answer. Students, now let's learn long division of 3 digit number with regrouping. Example is to divide 572 by 2. Let's follow the same steps. Step 1 is to form a tank and place dividend inside the tank and divisor outside the tank. Step 2. Divide 5 by 2. We know that 5 does not come in the table of 2. So, we go for the nearest multiple which is 2 multiplied by 2 equals to 4. Now, 5 minus 4 equals to 1 where 1 is less than the divisor 2. Therefore, we come to our next step which is to copy the next digit 7. Step 4 is to divide 17 by 2. We again go for the nearest multiple which is 2 multiplied by 8 equals to 16. Then 17 minus 16 gives us 1. Next step is to copy the next digit 2. Step 6 is to divide 12 by 2. We know 2 multiplied by 6 equals to 12. Then 12 minus 12 gives the remainder as 0. Therefore, our answer is question equals to 286 and remainder equals to 0. So students, this is how we do long division of 3 digit number with regrouping. Students, now you know how to divide numbers. Let's do one word problem related to division. Question is, Neha distributed 240 chocolates in a class. She gave 3 chocolates to each child. How many children are there in her class? Students, in this word problem, we can see that there is equal sharing as each child is getting 3 chocolates. So, it is a clear case of division. Let's write the given statements. Total number of chocolates equals to 240. Number of chocolates each child gets equals to 3. Therefore, number of children in the class equals to 240 divided by 3. Students, we will solve it by long division method. Let's form a tank and place dividend inside the tank and divisor outside the tank. We know 8 multiplied by 3 equals to 24. Then 24 minus 24 equals to 0. Copy the next digit 0. 8 multiplied by 0 equals to 0 and 0 minus 0 equals to 0. So students, remainder is 0 and question is 30. Therefore, our answer is there are 30 children in the class. Students, this is the end of our chapter. In the end, I am giving you a worksheet for your practice. You will find the answers 
to this worksheet number 5 in my next video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more and do press the bell icon to receive the notification for my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.